Thank you for joining me again. Welcome to another reading from the book Our High Calling, a daily devotional. Today's reading is entitled How Does Your Account Stand? July 5th. The judgment is set, the books have been opened. How shall we stand in that great day when every thought and word and action for the righteous judge shall we? How shall we stand in that great day? How shall we stand in that great day? Shall we be found before him wanting? Or with all sins all washed away? Moreover, it is required in stewards that a man be found faithful. 1 Corinthians 4, 2 Money is a blessing when those who use it consider that they are the Lord's steward, that they are handling the Lord's capital and must one day give account to their stewardship. Do you confess Christ in your expenditures of his entrusted means? If Christ had that which is his own in tithes and offerings, so much would not be left for selfish outlay and display. Less would be spent for dress, for pleasure excursions, for entertainments, or for display in table fare. We may confess Christ by making no elaborate preparations for visitors. We may deny him by making more than ordinary preparations, which takes time that rightly belongs to the Lord. Before you enter into amusement for the gratification of self, ask yourself the question, Is not this God's time and money that I am expending needlessly? Open your account book and see how your account stands with God, with your household and with the world. Have you confessed Christ by faithfully tithing the mint, the anise and the rue? When we give the Lord the tithe, we are only giving him that which is his own, to withhold which is theft and robbery. Does your account book reveal that you have dealt faithfully with your Lord? Are you poor? Then give your little. Have you been blessed with abundance? Then be sure to lay aside that which the Lord registers as his own. The neglect to confess to Christ in your account books cuts you off from the great privilege of having your name registered in the Lamb's Book of Life. Our Heavenly Father teaches by his own example of beneficence. God gives to us regularly, freely, and abundantly. Every earthly blessing is from his hand. What if the Lord should cease to bestow his gifts upon us? What a cry of wretchedness, suffering, and want would go up from the earth. We need daily the unfailing flow of Jehovah's love and goodness. Thank you for listening today. Be sure to join me tomorrow for another reading from the book, Our High Calling. God bless you.